Our pedals are made to be portable and compact. They can quickly be retracted by pushing the pedal inward first, then down. To obtain maximum range and top speed, ensure that your EV5 is fully charged before riding. This can take up to five hours. A little tip, avoid overcharging the battery. So when the EV5's battery is full, it's best to take it off the charger. In some cases, you may notice your throttle becomes difficult to move. This may be a result of your hand grip being too tight. Lightly adjust and this should free it up. Because the EB5 is so foldable, clamps can get loose over time. Tightening the latches is easy, but tighten just enough to offer some resistance when clamping. Seat post clamps work the same way as our stem clamp, so be prepared to adjust when needed. Too much and it will not clasp properly. If you have ridden on uneven terrain, remember that some items will become loose. One such item is the seat. Make sure you carry a set of tools when riding for such an occurrence. Frequently inspect both tires after every ride for signs of puncture and or damage. At some point in every bike's life, brakes might become loose, affecting stopping time. Sometimes the fix is simply tightening the handbrake. Otherwise, here's a tip for adjusting the front and rear brakes. Locate the brake cable on the brake. Using a pair of pliers and Allen key, loosen the cable. Pull out some slack, but not too much. Once done, tighten and give them a test. The EB5 is a folding commuter e-bike that is compact and fun to ride, but it's better suited for smooth, even pavement. It is not designed for stunts or tricks. If it's raining outside, leave your EB5 at home. The EB5 is rated IPX4 for water resistance, but it's not waterproof. While it can handle occasional splashes, water can still potentially damage the internal parts of the EB5. Have questions or problems with your EB5? For expedited service, you can reach our 5-star customer service team via phone, email, or live chat.